typical morning commute until it wasn't. All right, we got KTLA Five Eyeball News in Los Angeles reporting on a uh, look at that. Oh my goodness, they actually got footage of it. Apparently, uh, a train was uh, coming through a little town there in Southern California and hit that RV. Holy cow! And there we go again. Let's try it one more time. There's the RV. Oh my goodness. There was a big bump, and as a train came from like going full speed to stop, it took. Wow, and that was in a little town called Santa Fe Springs, which is in the L.A. area in between uh, Buena Park and Norwalk. Okay, Los Angeles-bound train, the Metrolink service, which I guess is a commuter train there in the Los Angeles area. It happened at 5.37 a.m. on Friday, November the 22nd, 2019. Uh, the Whittier police office uh, says that a train that the that the RV actually was stalled on the tracks and that it ignited a fire that consumed after it got hit it 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 ignited a fire that consumed the RV and ver and burned the front portion of the train here's some pictures of the aftermath a second train also received damage a freight train that was passing the incident just after the accident or happened Amazingly, there were no serious injuries. According to uh, KTLA, four people who complained of pain were treated at the scene and released. Uh, it's unclear why the RV was on the tracks, but witnesses reported seeing four people fleeing from the vehicle. Uh, the fire was contained within about half an hour, so about 6, 10 a.m., uh, the fire was under containment. Uh, police officers did find the registered owner of the vehicle who also lives in the area. The incident shut down the tracks for, uh, well, they were expected to remain closed all day, but uh, they did get one track open just before 9 a.m. Despite the fiery crash, no one was seriously injured, but today an investigation into what caused an RV to stop on these tracks, according to authorities, when a Metrolink train came plowing through. Alright, so here's the afternoon update from KTLA. There's the uh, immediate aftermath. And amazingly, nothing, nobody was hurt. No serious injuries at all. Uh, and they're still trying to figure out why the uh, why the RV was stopped on the track so early in the morning. 150 passengers on the train were evacuated. Only four complaining of minor injuries. Well, that is very fortunate, but uh, now they got to figure out why that why that RV was on the tracks at 5.30ish in the morning. It was locally owned, and uh, I don't know. I don't know. When we find out more, we will let you know right here on the Camo Dave channel. If you've got some news about RVing, uh, camping dangers, uh, stuff like that that you think people would be interested in, please send it to us at camodave at gmx.com. I want to thank Barb. Barb in Athens for uh, sending me this story here. She uh, she's she's uh, on top of the news. Anyway, uh, no one injured, but they're still trying to figure out why that RV was parked or stalled or stopped on the train track. Log over.